Did you know how many types of twins there are? There are eight. Here are the other four. This is part two of two. To see the first, please check out my channel. Thank you, parasitic conjoin, super fetation, super fecundation, parasitic. Are when one twin is fully developed and you know healthy, but the other twin that is underdeveloped didn't fully separate from the other in the womb. Usually, the underdeveloped fetus does not survive the pregnancy. This whole process results in the healthy child having extra organs, limbs, or in some famous cases, a whole nother face. Conjoined twins are the sometimes less disturbing result of embryos not fully separating. This results in the two siblings attached from the head, belly, or other parts. In the best case scenario, the twins can be detached and can live normal lives, but in the worst, it is near impossible to detach the twins without killing one or both. This is because conjoined twins tend to share vital organs and arteries, so separating them can be lethal. Super fetation is when a woman gets pregnant while already pregnant. You're crazy, huh? So usually this doesn't normally happen because when a woman is pregnant, her body releases hormones that prevent a whole new egg from being produced. But in rare cases, this doesn't happen and allows the chance of being pregnant again. This creates twins that are weeks apart. Uh, usually, these twins get delivered at the same time and for the most part are healthy. And lastly, super fecundation is pretty much the same as super fetation, but the twins have different fathers. Like twin A has a different father from twin B. Whoa, 